So a while back I asked the boys to pick a spot on a map that they'd always wanted to go fish, experience, and explore. And one common place on everybody's bucket list was Puerto Rico. So. Here they are. Welcome Puerto Rico. <laughs> boys. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Jinx. Welcome. Right everywhere in the airplane. My pants are wet. Oh, and my legs are that? sticky. Yeah, well, I accidentally went to go pick up his sprite as a joke and then knocked it on him. And then, so to repay me, he knocked a sprite onto me. And then I was like, and then the doing a bag of cheese. He was leaning on my side well, I was of the, the seat. the middle seat and I'm six foot four and I brought shoulders. I don't know how that, you. I think you were supposed to have a window seat, I yeah, believe. I, I was being kind and I let a lady sit next to her child on the edge and then I moved to a middle seat and so I wanted to lean on Mason to help me sleep and Mason was being selfish, he had a window seat. He leaned, it wouldn't let me lean on he was able boys. to touch Trey because he was leaning so far across my seat. Food fight. Not even close. And then, oh yeah, so then I'm, oh, she, I'm <laughs> cheesing and down like this and Mason goes, idiot, and he slaps it <laughs> all over the lady next to me. Alright, that's exaggerating. A there was crumbs. crumbs on her leg the whole entire there rest of the flight, <laughs> so every time we look over, we'd start busting out there's laughing. There crumbs all over Norm, and then there's two crumbs on her leg that made yeah, me laugh Yeah, really which was hard. just, you know, Puerto uh, Rico, you yeah. know? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Fish and Yak Pack YouTube channel. For the next two days, Norm, Trey, Mason, and myself will be here in Puerto Rico chasing the biggest, meanest, hardest fighting fish we can find with a few side missions along the way. Ooh. So step number one, we are here at the Walmart in Puerto Rico and we have to go get some fishing gear. All we brought with us was four fishing reels. So we need some rods, some baits and everything like that. I don't even honestly know for sure what kind of fish live on this island. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, peacock bass, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure largemouth bass, but the bigger sense. things that we're going for, so big snook and big tarpon. That'd be crazy. Yeah, big snook, big tarpon, that is the goal. So we're gonna make our way into Walmart, go buy some fishing rods and some fishing gear. You know how to fish for snook and tarpon? Negative, Ghost Rider. Me neither, but we're gonna figure it out. Make sure you guys hit this video with a thumbs up. Also subscribe, we're on the road to half a million subscribers by the end of the year, and I'll make you guys a deal. If you can get this video to 8,000 likes, we'll do this again. We'll run this back. Same exact way we will do, I don't know, Japan, Korea, I don't know, Singapore, Hawaii, something like that. You guys let me know down in the comments. 8,000 likes, we'll make it happen. Now, let's go buy some fishing gear. All right, I found them, boys. <laughs> the Tarpon Slayers. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too sure about Walmart having a, a very, like, stacked, Fishing yeah, section. I feel like you're goofing our poofing right now. I feel like you're making us buy stuff in Walmart and then we're gonna have a beautiful guided boat with all the correct gear and you're just worrying us because none of this stuff looks like it could bring in a tarpon. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I could bring in a tarpon. Yeah, Trey, I mean, anything could bring in a something tarpon. Oh, well. We have reels, so if you end up having to buy a combo, like, ah, it is what it is, we just won't use the reels because we have better reels in the bag. One of the hand reels. Oh yeah, that's, that's, oh. <laughs> if we get a little Goliath grouper action off the dock, that would be insane. Can um, you do that here? Well, I don't know. I do. I, I don't know nothing about this place. I don't understand really what's here. I don't know. I just I know that they have the world's biggest tarpon. Like I know that. I know Puerto Rico's known. This is like the world. This is like the tarpon capital. You know, I, Stewart, Florida is yeah. like the sailfish capital of the world. Yeah. Well, this is like tarpon. This is a tarpon. Dude, I've never caught a tarpon. Me neither. None of us have. I don't think. You I've caught, a, I've have you caught one. a tarpon? I've caught was one. it like big or no, was it no, like no. a little pond tarpon? It was tarpon? maybe Deer Hansen out. Slightly bigger than that. I mean, oh, slightly. Okay, okay. No, it, it was it was like a little baby baby tarpon. So if we, so we got like the six footers here. PB. Yeah, the big boys. The big boys. The two three hundred pounders. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What are you thinking? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I don't see anything very promising, but I do see an ugly stick, and they won't break, so. That's true. That is true. We could probably get an ugly stick. Let's see what we got. We'll throw it down. We may end up having to, like, try to find. I Googled tackle shops the other day, and they're all closed on the weekends. But we're fishing oh. early in the morning, so I don't know what to do. So do we try to make this work with what we're given? Because I want you guys to pay attention to something. From here to there. That is the bait selection. Now, we could go super early in the morning to a tackle shop as soon as it opens up. 
if y'all don't how, think this How good. early is super early? I mean, not crazy. Like, just like 4, 4.30ish. I could do it. I could do it. I also feel like you're goofing us. No, no, no. I'm being... I feel like you're serious I feel right like now. You're go- no, yeah, no you're not. No, I promise you I am. <laughs> I promise you I am. I this promise. Goofing us. No, I, I promise I am. I'm not I'm not goofing you, I promise. Uh but I just don't see He's like the things that Unless y'all just want to send it with the budget Walmart stuff. I'm so, I'm dead serious. serious. I'm so serious. I feel like no, what you're doing feel, is you got like you got the Turpin Slayer three thousand, like the ultimate dude who's fished for Turpin since he was two years old <laughs> out of his mom's chest carrier no i'm being dead serious right now i'm so serious <laughs> yeah i'm all right i'm so right. serious i'm calling right now i see you coming we're gonna go out there and there's gonna be some dude with dreadlocks and <laughs> they're gonna be bleached just like the guy from uh, juke squad oh it's, he's yeah gonna look exactly Jack, like yeah. that and he's gonna be like let me show you catch a tarpon all right okay this all right, all right, all right. Like yeah i do what I is do that actually yeah i, I don't yeah. think those are bad dude what, what's the size stuff. it's a yeah. tsunami sea tech it is a seven foot medium heavy I really think that would be we'd yeah. be fine with four of those. I think so too. All I right. mean, I think we're gonna have to be. That's facts. All right, four of those, Mason, uh, Mr. Mason, if you can find those. I just think I've seen some down there. Honestly. Is that one right here? Oh no, there we go. Four. Please get. Oh yeah, I mean, there you go. are those all the seven foot medium heavies? Oh, they're only thirty bucks too. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's perfect. Thirty, sixty, ninety. That looks like plus thirty is. Yeah, make sure you're not getting one twenty. One twenty. Yeah, so let's do the. I'll, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's get two of these and two of these. How about that? Okay. All right. So next on the list, are we dual purposing these for fresh water if we do it? Peacock and bass. Yep. Because I think we could. Yep. Okay. 100%. Right. Yeah. Good yeah. decision. Though. Um, okay. Now these, Trey, remember, look at that. Oh, that's the sauce. The old peacock slayers. That's what we need. I think these might be a little too heavy though, for real. Nah. I don't know for sure. I'm just winging it right now. Just bear with me. I do know that Snook the Tarpon like stuff like this. So there's like snook and tarpon and like in short, like bank fishing in short here is. Yeah, there's that's like. That's pretty cool. S- snook and tarpon like everywhere. That's can, ridiculous. I'm, r- I'm actually really excited. Yes, actually, if you want one. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. definitely think that they will crush it. Get uh, chrome. Chrome, chrome dome. Think chrome over this? I'll uh, get both. Yeah. I got a two chromes. Did we get two of those? There's one. I just, I'm literally going to just grab a bunch of different. You ever throw hair jigs for snook and tarpon? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, like like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that might not be it. I don't know. Let's see. These might be. Nah. Uh, no. no. Those are yucky. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go. Look, you can never go wrong with something just like this. Like this is just a bunch of different color, little swim baits and stuff. Uh, if this is not what we end up needing, we got two top waters. We'll adjust and. Uh, Go from there. Yeah. Oh, bro, that chrome is crazy. Oh, you know what we also need? What for we need? sure is leader. Leader line, because we only have braid, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Are they going to have it? Yep. All right, so we're good. We've already got line on the reels. we got four rods. we got our baits. If this is not all we need, we'll make adjustments as necessary. Again, we're swinging for the fences here, because none of us have ever been to Puerto Rico, let alone fished in Puerto Rico. So, sorry to boil the beans here but i have been to puerto rico when i was eight years old on a cruise so. oh dude that's no big deal no big deal norm's been here before yeah. on a cruise too my sister got bit by a toucan and she got some type of disease gotcha all right well yeah. we got like 20 minutes to get to our hotel and my gps uh, automatically transitioned over to spanish <laughs> so we've got to deal with that we'll see you guys at the hotel here in like two seconds all right well ladies and gentlemen we made it to the hotel <laughs> I didn't think you were going to point the camera around. <laughs> yeah. We are in San Juan, Puerto Rico. What do you think so far? It's nothing grand and nothing luxurious, but it'll get the job done, you know? No, dude. This is nice, dude. Yeah. Beautiful views. You can even see, like, the turquoise water out here, man. I know. It's, it's awesome. Crazy. Well, I'm going to throw the drone up later and see what it really looks like. Yeah. And bust down. I'll give you guys a room tour really quick. Oh. There we go. There's all of our stuff from being on the go for the past two weeks. There's a wild mason. Nice outfit, by Thank the way. Thank you, sir. We dripped out. Yeah. There's a tray. Chocolate. Look, who's sleeping and who's bed? Oh, We're all sleeping in the same bed together. Dude, we could push these together. Giant bed. Giant bed. Yeah, this, and then we got a little kitchen. And that's about it. That's all you need, though. When yep. you got four fishing boys in the same room. All you need is two beds. <laughs> two beds and a pooper. Yeah. <laughs> and a place to do the do. So, boys, I have a dinner reservation 
at what is supposed to be the best food on this island tonight at 8 o'clock. Really? Yeah, that's what I was told. Because you said we're driving 50 minutes, so I feel like we're either driving 50 minutes to the worst thing ever or the best thing ever, and I don't know which. No, it's supposed to be, that's that's what I was told when I was doing my, my little Somebody research. Somebody said there's a cheap versus expensive team? <laughs> <laughs> so we got a, I think, I mean, it's almost 6 o'clock now. It's like a 50 minute drive. I think we just do a little sightseeing along the way. Leave now, we all think. So yeah, down with it. with it. All right, let's go eat some food. This place is pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. Very different, but very crazy. We went to Walmart earlier, and you know how, like, normally they have the home and pharmacy or they have the market section? All in Spanish. Pretty insane. Uh, the sand is like, I don't know what it's like. It's not regular beach sand. It's like <laughs> mud. But it, I don't know, it's pretty cool. No, y'all probably thought we were going on a charter, right? But the thing with a charter is, <laughs> that's basic, dude. Any, basic. Anybody can do that. But when you link up with a local that lives here, that and then you get the secret spots. You get the secret spots and you get the true Puerto Rican fishing experience. I like it. I like it more than the charter, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. I so, really do. I, I, I kind of had a feeling you guys were going to think that I was going to throw y'all on a charter. And that was the original intent until I was like, you know what? No, we can make that way cooler. We can really dig in the, in the Puerto Rican trenches here yeah. and go actually get the full Puerto Rican fishing experience. So you met him on TikTok? On oh, TikTok. And what then does I he messaged do on TikTok? Him. Does he fish on TikTok so, or does he like? He, yeah, fish is, well, there's more things that we're going to do too. But it's a surprise. <laughs> he could probably do that. But does he know how to name it? <laughs> but we're here now at the restaurant he works out and it our works out. We're here now at the restaurant he works at called Sama in La Quillo. La Quilla? La Quillo. I think it's La Quilla. La Quilla. My Quilla. question for you is, are you going to try this stuff on this menu? Because there's, just reading the starters down and in order, clams, I know you probably don't like, then there's calamari, duck roulette, and then elot ribs, which I don't know what that is. And then caldo a pesca. Dude, I'm here to try whatever you're here to try. I knew when he told me we should come here, yeah. That so you're when gonna, I looked at the menu online, I was like, okay, this is some norm food right here. Uh, it's definitely not meat and cheese, dude. That's for sure. But I've never had, okay, I've never had, not a big clam guy. I've never had duck roulette. I've never had Elot ribs. I've never had over 90% of stuff on this menu. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. I just have a drink menu. Welcome to Puerto Rico, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get some, uh, we're gonna get some. Did you show them the view at least? Yeah, no, it, it, it is it is crazy. We were just, hang on. It is crazy. We were just down there walking around. And this is our view from inside of the restaurant. Pretty crazy. I mean, Crazer. I read, I, I was saying crazy and I read Caesar salad, so I said Crazer. Crazer. Get in the Caesar salad. Hashtag sure. crazy. But yeah, we're gonna get some food, maybe some appetizers. I don't know. Norm, you probably picked the appetizer. Duck roulette sounds, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Either that or calamari. I think calamari might be good too. What is real? I don't know. Hey, boys, though, we're in Puerto Rico. Run it up. Whatever is whatever, just run it up. Get what we get. So, yeah. We'll get back with you guys when we get our food. We'll let you know what we ordered and what it looks like and how it tastes. It's calamari? That looks so, like no, we didn't get calamari. We got, uh, yeah, we got pork belly and what was the other one we got, Yak? Oh, this is the ribs. Yeah, that's the, the uh, corn ribs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see that's the. I'm going all in. Go with it. I'm going. Is it really easy good? Wow. Go okay, ahead, okay, okay, okay. If Trey gives it a well, I bet it's going to be really amazing. Okay, all right. If Norm gives it with a well, I'll Oh my God. Okay. All right, it's my turn. I'm going to cut the camera off. We're going to eat. I'll show you the main course when it comes out, but I got to stuff my face before they stuff theirs. I forget the name. It's a special. I, it's a special. I forget what it's called. Do you remember what it was called? I don't have a clue what it's called, but I know it's from Sweden. Yeah. It looks good. Currently super tasty. That's what he recommends. And you got the same thing? Same thing. All right, and I got the steak. 
with some Gosh, kind of that potato stuff. So good, dude. I know, dude. Golly. Mason's oh, waiting on his because Mason got a different steak. It's potato layer steak than Brussels sprouts. That's kind of crazy. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're gonna indulge ourselves. Take a bite in the next thing. I'll let you know real quick. How you Gosh. eat it? Trey said how you eat it. I don't really know, dude. Oh, just like that. Yeah. Wow. Hold up. Yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Yeah, like extremely good. Dang, look at that white meat. Yeah, that is very crazy. Oh and like the sauce, I don't know what this like sauce is, but it's really good. Look how white that meat is. That's very white. Dude. All right, well, I'm gonna try mine. Mason's gonna get his and try his. I'm ready for it. And then we'll let you guys know what we think. <laughs> that was bones. Yeah, well, I was getting kind of close to the top. I'll flip it over for you and get you a good piece. Very good. Yeah, you gotta get some of the sauce in it too. Yeah, the sauce is killer. Oh, dang, coconuts? Dang. We're here to catch big tarpon and he's talking about coconuts. Okay, that was actually cool. Did you expect that to happen? I didn't think there was going to be any juices in it. It felt heavy, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you could drink this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could definitely drink that. It's just pure. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh and my energy drink. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know why I did it. I just kind of <laughs> intrusive thoughts. I saw a coconut. I wanted to slam it. Fair enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here now, and like I said last night, I know you guys probably assumed coming to Puerto Rico we were gonna get a tarpon charter, but instead of that, we're meeting here with a local that lives here, and he is gonna be the one to put us on fish, regular, kinda just a run and gun stop. And that's, I feel like, better, cooler, and more awesome than, uh, bread and butter. yeah, bread and butter. He's also very handsome, man. He is, he's a handsome guy. Are you guys ready to catch some fish? With them, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Also, beach view is immaculate, and I almost feel like we should walk down there while we're waiting on him because he said he'd be five minutes. And I kind of want to see the beach okay. as the sun rises. All right. It's like, it, did you tell him it was 6 a.m.? Like it's. Oh no, it is. Right, it's very early. Or 6:03. So 603. super early in the morning. Super excited. I, all of us, this would be. Well, especially for me, Mason, first tarpon or snook if we get a hook one. Your first tarpon. First tarpon, I've caught snook. Caught snook. And then your first tar or your PB tarpon yeah, or your definitely. PB snook yeah, is very possible. Definitely. So I'm super excited, dude. Yeah. We got like all day to fish besides whatever else you have planned. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Um, I want to see the beach though, dude. The Let's beach, go to the beach. Yeah. Dude, the sand is crazy. It was like orange yesterday at the restaurant. Let's go to the beach. Right now. Let's right. go. <laughs> right. Gosh, beautiful. Okay, this walk is going to be worth it for sure. Definitely. Ain't that more beautiful than you? It's a beautiful rainbow. Puerto Rico? Oh, wow, dude. I feel like we're walking out on like a set of Love Island or something. I swear. Dang, boys! Yeah. <laughs> How would you do that, Mason? Mason's feet on the beach right now. Dude, this is... This, this is, is epic. Crazy. Bro. Yeah. This, this is, is one of the nicest beaches I think I've ever been to. I swear. The sand is kind of off, though. It's like mud. Yeah, I'm not used yeah. to the dark sand. It's, it's really just like... Yeah, yeah like loose dirt. dirt. Yeah. Holy but, smokes, this is crazy. Look at this. You got mountains way over there in the background. It's a nice place to catch a tarpon, that's for sure. Yeah. That is crazy. Bring out the lobster. Bring out the lobster. Tell them to bring out the lobster. Bring out the lobster. All right, well, I think, boys, I think it's time to go get rigged up. We need to put the reels on the rods, probably tie some leader on, and let's get to fishing. Let's Puerto Rican pass. Puerto Rican pass. <laughs> let's go. What do you, you always say, let's go pass? Let's go. Mm, uh, I don't know. What, I feel like that doesn't mean a good thing. <laughs> yeah, in a... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we won't do that. Yeah, we won't do that. We won't go pooning.
Well, guys, turns out we're actually using the Walmart rods, but in a yeah. fantastic way. I thought Yak was trying to, like, jabate us by just saying we came here for a day with absolutely no plan to catch 200-pound tarpon for our first time ever, which would have been fun. But we got help from a uh, from a local who seems to be very, really very confident that, huh? that we could rip some lips. <gasps> Do Snooky top water or is oh, it yeah, just... Man. Oh, yeah, Oh, sweet. You got some good, good possibility for top water for us. Yeah. Nor, if you catch something... Big on top water, dude. I'll buy your dinner tonight. <laughs> but if you lose some, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> Dang it! What an awesome view, dude. Don't get up better than that. I want the Spider-Man Burger King for dinner if I catch one. Oh, we did pass the Spider-Man Burger King. Yeah. Is that a thing now? I don't know. It's it's a yeah, Burger it's King. Like, like the signs are upside down, and there was like a Spider-Man thing on it. What? It's crazy. It's strong. It's smart. It's spit your head. I feel like a 200 pounder would spool a 2500. Oh, oh, that's sweet. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. If we get something like that, you'll be, you'll be. Oh, yeah, I'll be stuck. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. He ate that DOA terrorize. That's crazy. I was crazy. trying to film when I was fighting him. <laughs> He'll throw a jump here real quick. That's pretty funny. Look at this big boy. That's a big old snuggie. Holy smokes. Get that on camera, North. Those things, those things are already. Oh, yeah, no. I'll, I'll, I got it. Oh, cool. Yeah, right here. Yeah, Holy man. smokes. <laughs> Golly. He is terrorized, too. I so almost heart, like, like hope I accidentally catch it like a, a small one oh to start, so I have something to work towards. Yeah. We, get, we get a lot that's of those. That's nuts. That's perfect. It's on the bucket list for today. Yeah, snow guitar would have been my top two, like, forever. I just never get down to do it. Really? Yeah. It gets you on today. It does it right out Sweet. Here. That'll be sweet. So there's about like, there's four or five ponds out here. This first pond we're gonna fish is, yeah, we're yeah. mainly targeting the tarpon Dang. first. The yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so first, first pond is the tarpon, and then there's like three ponds after that that are gonna be mainly That's snook. That's the collection for water if you get a boat. Yeah. Oh, I got so you. big pond oh. still has snook in it, just the tarpon are what really yeah. are more aggressive. Did you show that tarpon? I thought I'm you should be good on this knot. Sweet, give her a little touch real quick. I'm gonna grab my glasses out of the cup holder. Gosh, I'm scared I'm gonna have a big old tarp and just like, Don't be scared, bro. Be excited. It's a I'm good scared. It's a good scared dog. It is a good scared. We also may or may not have went to the casino last night. Heck yeah, I had to go. <laughs> I, slept, I went to sleep. <laughs> Who's got a gear bag? What casino is it? Uh, uh that in your pocket? Yo, yo, Metro those are, those are, Royal yeah, something. Down in San Juan? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. We're gonna Good. probably go to a different one. Yeah, we won. We made a good bit. We made eighteen dollars. Heck yeah, man. <clears throat> <laughs> you're up. Uh oh. <laughs> so, oh, oh, they're oh, already yeah. running. They're already running. That's crazy. So take a catch from back here. No, get up on the Okay. Do they like it fast, slow? No, it's like walk the dog back. Okay. All right. So parallel to these bushes. Oh my gosh, they're all out there, dude. Okay. All right. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> First cast. Oh my God. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Oh, let's go. Oh, just that quick. Oh my gosh. That gets me so pumped up. Yeah, we can bust the whenever you think is, is good. Uh, do you got a spot for a walking bait with triple hooks in your bag or is that gonna? 
I have the a, issue. I have this. I can put it in norm. Yeah. That's how I usually just run. Yeah, I'll just run the same thing. Run it just like that. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Colby's on. Oh, I need to go over there. Dang. That's a long. Let me see if I can get it from here. Oh. Oh, Colby's on. Colby's on. I'm about to run over there. Norman, I'm going to give you a battery real quick, all right? Thank you. All right. Dude, I just missed two in here. I missed two, one jumped right in front of me, and then I saw one swimming right here. But I'm gonna run up there to Colby. Here's your battery. Right. How are you uh, swimming at? Just like kinda? Uh, just a, a, a retrieving up to paddle. You have, oh, you have a paddle though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Let's go. Good job. Dude, I missed two tarpon over there in that corner. I just missed four tarpon over here and a couple snips. That's the first one I saw. That's so awesome. Thank goodness. Whew. Trey. Oh my god! Oh, dang! God! Yeah! God, dude! Oh, oh for three today! Dang it! The thing is, when you hook a tarpon, you got to uh, you got to point your rod at him. Oh, he jumped out of the water. That was so sick. You got to point your rod at him. You can't. You don't want a high stick or really fight him either. Call them silver kings. Kings of the freaking water. Congrats on the fish, dude. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got one, man. You had some action, but. Yeah, yeah, no. They, they were there. <laughs> you were on it, man. Trey, you, you saw, I saw it in Trey's face. He was like. He had it. I yeah. was dialed in. Yeah, I was yeah. ready to go. Yeah, I was yeah. dialed in. That's okay, though, boys, because. Got him figured out. We have one thing that we have to go do right now. We try to get on the morning bite. <laughs> I missed two. And then, I know what it is. You know what it is? Yeah. We're going to a different spot. We're going to be getting some fish. I got it figured out now. I'm ready. You got yeah. it dialed in? I'm sight dialed fishing in. them. All right. Well, we've got one thing that we've got to go do right now. Colby, I'll get in touch with you here in like the next couple hours. I'll hit you up and we'll be back over on this side of the island. So, good. any guesses? Trey scooping that number. Sorry, yeah. it's just an <laughs> intrusive joke. <laughs> intrusive. Uh, offshore fishing. Offshore fishing. I'm, I think what we're gonna do is probably a little bit of um surf what? surf lessons. Surf I think. lessons. Okay. I think we're gonna have a little bit of maybe snorkeling. Okay. Um, maybe a little bit of um. Gosh, I, I don't would, know. I would throw in hiking because I know Yakai likes that hiking life. Yeah, maybe a little bit of um, I don't know, coconut opening. How I did you know, know that? I read your note folder. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. All right, well, boys, 
We got about an hour and 10 minute drive. Oh, yeah. But okay. we'll stop and get food before we. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm with the boys. <laughs> All right, boys, we just stopped here at a gas station real quick. And I wanted to show you guys this. Norm just picks up this yeah. bag of Doritos. Incognito. Incognito Doritos. Does that look good, Trey? On camera? Oh, yeah. Look, that, have you guys ever seen Doritos like that? Uh, is uh -uh. it a mystery flavor? Well, I'm wondering if it's like a flavor we've already had, but it's just a mystery flavor. I think that's what it is. I feel like that's it, so we might have to crack them open. Crack them open real quick, see what it is. I just went with a lunch because you can't go wrong with that. Dude, it is hot out here. We literally just fished oh, they for... Look, oh, no, they are definitely a different flavor. They look spicy. Are they? They look see? like... Oh, my God. Those are really good. Those are very good. I don't know what the flavor is. Incognito. But it's so hot out here right now. Uh, Trey, what did you... You ended up hooking one? Uh, yeah, but my drag was too loose. Trey hooked one. Norm, did you hook one? No, man, I was playing backfield, bro. I was behind eight people. So uh, yeah, 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 I got you. And then uh, Mason had a blow up yeah. on a top water. I hooked two. Miss both of them, but that's tarpon fishing in general. Tarpon and snook, like they're very, very, very hard to catch them. And like I said, we could have go, we could have, we could have went and hired a guide to take us out, and we could have threw shiners around, and we could have caught little tarpon and stuff. But I decided it would be best to be swung for the fences and actually got out in the trenches and, and fished with somebody that was from here. I thought that would be better. So we've got one thing planned right now. We're gonna eat and then go do something very fun. Oh yeah, what is that by the way? They got caramel Oreos, and it probably tastes like caramel, but it looks like an Oreo, so I said, let's give it up. Yeah, interesting. Norm, I know you want one. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> We've made it here to surprise number three. Any guesses on what we're doing? Skydiving. Is there any guesses on who is doing this? Not me. Mason, you're going skydiving today. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, so you can't say no. The only way this, the only way this. I like how that's phrased. Yeah. You're going skydiving today, you can't say no. The only way this does not happen is if the planes are just not allowed to fly due to wind, weather, or whatever. It's very windy out today, like super windy. Well, I think that's the norm. The, the norm, it's the norm. The normal here on this island. I think that's yeah. supposed to help you though whenever you're falling from the shot. Yeah, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna jump when there's no wind. So wind is good. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get two tries. You get two parachutes. You get uh, the main and reserve. So you got a 50-50 chance. Okay, sweet. And you get two gross tries because you're going two times. <laughs> that part I hope isn't true. No, that Actually, part's no, that's not true. I'm kind of excited. I, I feel like I'll fall in love with it. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie. So I know, and the reason I feel like this will fit me. The reason that I picked you is because. Mm, I don't know your videos. It's fine. Be it won't be out, but it'll be fine. Okay, okay. I mean, it'll, it'll already be known because of my video. It's like, oh, this is a, you were like, this is the first time I jumped out, or like been skydiving yeah. in like years or something like that. Okay, Same so everybody. Norm went skydiving in like one of his videos. But a it, month ago. A month I, went, ago. I went skydiving for the first time. We did like a little video. Uh, Trey didn't go. Yak went. Um, I did so go skydiving. He went indoor skydiving. He went skydiving. indoor skydiving. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we went skydiving. And then we, uh, but we've all already like been. So like. He went indoor skydiving. Well, so well, well Trey didn't want to go. And you're a drilling junkie, so. Yeah, so the reason that I picked you to do yeah. this is because, like I said, I'm just fresh off of it about a month ago. Norm I went it. one time, and one time is like, it's it's cool, dude, you're gonna like it. You're a yeah. drilling junkie, but it, one time is good enough for like, and one time is good enough for me for life. Like, I told, I'm never going again. I told, I told Norm, when, yeah. we were, we, when we were like doing it for his video, I told him, I was like, that's part of the Puerto Rico plan as well. Yeah. And he was like, I instantly I'm one and done. I was like, you can use my footage for me jumping out of this plane. <laughs> I was like, I can't jump out of two planes. No, like, he I said he so was one and done. Me, yeah. And myself and Mason are a lot alike. So I asked Norm, I was like, while we were doing that, that was the cheap, and most expensive road trip, Road right? trip. And also, Mason told me, because I was asking everybody, like, hey, what would you do and not do? Mason was one of the only few that said, I will do extreme things like jump out of airplane, okay. bungee jumping, so I knew Mason would be chill with it, but that's why I didn't put him on the team to make everybody think that he was, anyways, 
I knew Mason was cool with skydiving. Yeah. At least, how does it feel now? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I just woke up, but it, it hasn't hit. I'm just like kind of excited to go fly in a plane. Yeah. I love well, flying. We gotta, we gotta make sure that we can do this uh, first. Cause I mean, it is windy. I've jumped out of planes before in the wind like this. And it is, like I said, it's definitely better to jump when it's windy than no wind at all. And no wind at all, you're straight down. They call it a lawn dart. Uh. You're straight down, but with wind, all you do when you're landing is you're facing straight into the wind, but you're jumping tandem too, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. I honestly also think we jumped from 10,000 feet. I think they do 14,000 feet here. Holy smokes. Yeah, but I think 14 is as high as you can go without having to have oxygen. Yeah. I know yeah. that's a fact. Yeah. I, I, I read here that it was 14,000, but I'm not 100% sure. The sea level here may be higher than it was in Jacksonville where we did it. Yeah. So that may compensate for those 4,000 feet. But with that said, let's go up. Uh, we gotta go check in real quick and make sure we can actually do this. So, Mason, right. you ready? Let's get to it. I'm excited. <laughs> this is the part where Mason gets very nervous. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. <laughs> I got like the little butterflies going. That's about it. It is good to be nervous though. That makes a that healthy makes amount you, of afraid. Yeah, that makes you pay attention to what they tell you to do. Yep. All right, Norm. 500 cash if you go. I'm chilling on it, dude. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making 502. I'm making 518. For your bucket list, though. Right here. Right here. Nice. I'm Jason. Mason, nice to meet you. Jason and Mason. Oh, dude, Mason, you look so crispy right now. How nervous <laughs> are you going to scale from 1 to 10? Honestly, getting in this harness got me like a little less nervous. I was getting butterflies sitting down over there, but yeah. You're good. You get a 50 50 chance, man. You get credits and you've got a better chance than you. <laughs> Over under, you're at 2,500 plus jumps. 2,500 was about 25 years ago. <laughs> oh my God. Right yeah, you're in good hands, Mason. <laughs> uh, once we're hooked up and ready, which is more than obvious, it's really tight, I open the airplane door. That's part of it. And when I open the door, I got to take a look outside and down one like that for a few seconds, making sure we're going the right way of the airplane. It gets a little exciting there. If I'm looking, so are you. We're attached. You're actually looking a little more than me. No, no! Anyway, there's a few seconds of that. And then there's a metal step that we step on and use to get in the airplane. We're gonna use it to get out of the airplane. I put my left foot on that step first. You're gonna put both your feet on that uh, step there, left and right. And the truth is, I'm grabbing your feet and helping you do it to make it fast and efficient. If I leave it to you, do what's palm without doing it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know, bro. So I help you with it, and you're cooperating. Will do. And this is not cooperating. I don't wanna go! Oh yeah, I'm gonna go full lock mode. No, don't make you slap your hands like this. <laughs> and once your feet are on that step, cross your arms in front of you like this. I do the push for us to leave the airplane. When you feel we left the airplane, which is quite obvious and undeniable, and that second, push your hips forward a little bit and kick your feet back and crawl on up as best as you can in between my legs. Because your feet and legs are somewhat together in a step and mine are separated like that. And it's your legs that are together, they go in between mine, back and up. Gotcha. This is me, this is you, we're trying to achieve that. As if you're trying to kick me in the butt with your heels. Yeah. Ready to do it? Yeah. All right, my brother, I'll be back for you soon. Sounds good. Let's get into it. Are you willing to risk minor or major injury to any of all body parts while participating in Scott avi avi Aviation and related activities? Yeah. <laughs> Is it understood that this purchase option does not constitute a contract of insurance, but only a waiver of contractual defenses that would otherwise be available to these parties? I don't need money. Are you under any medication of any kind at the present time? If life counts. <laughs> Do you have normal vision or correct lenses? Normal. Describe any of the both that apply. Being too thick? Ooh, he thick with uh, it. Yeah, I gotta pay an extra $25 because I'm overweight. <laughs> <laughs> Just say yes. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Storm swarm. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You got it. Scary berry. It's all same same. Kind of want some. The action. storm's coming in. And Mason's about to go down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better move. dance for a night you can remember. Teach me how to tell you. Teach me. Teach me how to tell you. Teach me how to tell you. <laughs> Mason gets scared, he starts dug Yeah. <laughs> renegade, renegade. You want renegade out of the plane? Nervous gritty, nervous gritty. <laughs> if you gritty out of the airplane, I'll, uh, I'll gritty out of the airplane. That means you're jumping. 
Yeah, like another time. Oh, okay. See. There's a storm coming. I can't jump today. <laughs> you better don't. <laughs> oh, no. I'd dude. be like, oh, I'm yes, there's a storm. The there's a storm. I'm going to look in the suit. You oh, dude, you look great. great. Look at that. I'm going to get you on. You look great. Oh, that's terrible. Yep, that's awful. Are you sure you don't want to do this again? I'm positive, dude. I never want to do it again in my life. Never? I landed, I told myself, don't ever want to do it again. Never. Never again? Never ever. What if I don't? Never ever. Again? You have no choice. Okay, cool. <laughs> because Norm told us, harness. when we got to the Scott Ivan place, he said, listen guys, you do not have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm giving you no choice. So. Norm says. Yeah, I'm giving you no choice <laughs> because I know you're going to like it. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't have said no. You would I'm, have. I'm like, this is something I've always wanted to do, so I'm yeah. really excited. But I do think, unless you're going to like pursue actually skydiving, I think you might be a one and done. Maybe. Maybe. Unless, I don't know, from the sounds of base jumping stuff, people love that stuff. Yeah, that's true. Like, they say it's the most addictive is thing. Is that the bungee jump? Like, the base no, jump? Base jump no, like, like just jump off a parachute. Yeah. Uh, and rock up. And you just yeah, it. which is more dangerous than skydiving. Yeah, no jumping. doubt. Yeah, it's the number one way to die. Are you excited? Yes. Are you camera shy? No. Don't be camera shy. Well, me and Yak jumped out of a plane like last month. Trey still not said, going. Nah, and I respected it. He still says he doesn't want to go, which I still respect. Mason has always wanted to go skydiving. I've been talking about it for years, and now he finally gets to go today. And a cool place, Puerto Rico. So that's pretty awesome. Not many people can say they've yeah. been skydiving, and also not many people can say they've been skydiving in Puerto Rico. That's true. Or I've never skydived in Puerto Rico. I haven't. I'm just saying, you'd be the coolest one out of the group. Yeah. At least like an hour. I'm about to have, so that's I've never skydived <laughs> at all. Oh, the shame of it, though, is that outfit you're wearing on the way down. Dude, I like it. Don't let him talk to you like that. I'm just kidding. Can we walk out there with him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What's up? What's going on? I want a name or where you're from. Mason Hoover from Tallahassee, Florida. Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Tell the world what are you doing in Puerto Rico I to see what it's there for. Filming YouTube videos. Oh, here? Actually, that's here. Skydiving. Skydiving. Nice. First time? Yep. How do you feel with the facts? Tell me the truth. The uh, I'm like a little nervous, but also very excited. You should be. Who are you running with today? Who's here with you? Uh, the worst friends I've ever had. Best friends I've ever had. I've always wanted to do this. I'm the weather wants to cooperate. The airplane's waiting. Are you ready? I'm ready. See you in the air. All <laughs> that transition. That's perfect. Mason, ready for some adrenaline? I'm ready for it. I'm no screaming go. or crying. I will try my hardest. Oh scream be the wild, wild line. So funny, Mason has always wanted to wild do this. Wild line, not kidding. Ah, man, it's pretty cool. He's finally getting uh, able to. We, ooh, I never wanted to do this ever. I ended up doing it, but Mason's always wanted to do it. 20 bucks to touch the propeller. And finally get to do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be cheesing when he lands. Definitely, 100% cheesing. <laughs> oh, the pilot has on a parachute too. Oh, he's got a parachute on. Nice. <laughs> okay. See you Bye, on Mason. the other side, Mason. It gets really more real when you get closer to the plane. Oh yeah, once you're getting in, that's what it really is. And honestly, on the way up, like that 30 minutes of just thinking that you have, yeah. that's the worst. Yeah. But I don't know, Mason's, Mason's cool comic collector. He's always been like the adrenaline guy out of the group. Yeah, so he's, he's definitely the guy. The, he's in his element, he's fine. Like yeah. he's actually chilling. Like yeah. I don't even think, he might be like barely scared, but it's like 5%. I think he's 95% excited. Yeah. He's a good nervous, for yeah. sure. He's yeah. definitely good nervous. I was opposite, I was like 5%. Excited, 95% nervous. And he's 95% excited, 5% nervous. And I'm like 100%, I'm not doing this. So. <laughs> Bye, Mason. Mason. Bye. Bye, buddy. Hope Say goodbye to your childhood yeah. best friend, Norm. I grew up with that guy. Well, that was a good 22 years. Oh, he's chilling. Ah, once, once you get up in the air, like, I was cool until we started going off, and I realized, oh, okay, it's happening, and, like, as soon as the wheels leave the ground, you, there's no turning back. No, yeah, because dude. it's like I didn't tell him like you can be a jump refusal. Like when you get up there, if you're just like, heck, no, I'm not doing this. You can like say that, even though you still have to pay for it. But I didn't yeah. tell him that, so he has no choice. <laughs> He's got to jump. <laughs> He's going up. 
They're, they're, get, they're doing it just in time. Look at that storm. Yeah, yeah that storm is coming in hot, dude. Yeah. That's a serious storm. Yeah. I just looked at it on the weather radar, and it is raining. Yeah. Oh, there goes yes. Mason. <laughs> at least he had a little bit of a nicer plane than we had. Our yeah, plane ours was ranky dang. Yeah. That's <laughs> wait actually... till y'all see that. If, if your video probably won't be out, it won't be if, out no, for a while. Dude, wait yeah. till y'all see the one we jumped out of with Norm, dude. Yeah, that was it a was rinky dang rough. plane. It, it was looked like, like aluminum full. <laughs> it was. It literally looked like aluminum full, and it was room for like one five foot five person. <laughs> it was pretty rough. All right. All right well. Off. All right. Well. We'll. Uh, We'll wait on Mason to jump. I'm excited for him. I know he's going to love it. Dude. He's going to like it. I know exactly when he gets down, he's going to be like, that was a lot of fun and my crotch hurts. Those are going to be the two things he says. And all right, I'm, all I'm right. willing to place dinner on it right now, actually, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> well, about 20 minutes from now, Mason will be jumping. And uh, we'll get some video of that. Guys, it also just so happens to be Squirtle Community Get Day on Pokemon Go. So while Mason's up there, you know, in a plane, I might catch a couple Squirtles because it's a 30 minute ride up there. And we're just chilling here, hanging out, waiting. Maybe drink a water, hydrate a little bit. Who knows, it's Puerto Rico. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Puerto Rico Go. It's me, Norm. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I already did this, dude. I, know, I honestly right? would not be that scared going up again. I just didn't like it. You like, it, yeah. I wouldn't even be scared going up this time. I mean, obviously a little bit, but like, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be like terrified. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not. It, it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's not like a terror. The, well, the, the first time it's scary because you don't because it's unknown. It's the unknown. You're scared yeah, but the now the yeah. second time I just be like, gosh, I hate this feeling. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, it would be like going on a roller coaster for the second time. You know the moves. You know the path. Yeah. It's just like, if you don't like it, you don't like it. It's yeah. less fun. Yeah. Less yeah. fun the second time. That's what I told myself too. I was like, I really don't see. Well, I for real would probably do it again if it just didn't hurt. That's the thing. It's I pulling like the shoe. Yeah, it's no always going to hurt. Like, it's just uncomfortable. Unless you do. Uh, I like the fall. I Like, the fall is the, the fall best part. Dumb, yeah. Dude. You're 120 miles an hour. You're just like, you're just cruising. That, that's kind of fun. I'm excited to see what he can see when they're up there and they jump. Like, are they going to be able to see the whole island? I don't yeah. know. It's a big house. It's but, way bigger than I thought. Dude, I feel like Mason for real is going to get tunnel vision because his first time going, you're just going to be like jumping and thinking about the yeah. jump over yeah. the views. I feel like second, third, fourth time, then you take in the views. I didn't I, like... I didn't take in the views until the, the instructor dude, I forgot his name, but until he literally was like, that's Jacksonville right there. And then it was like, I came back too. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. I was just enjoying the moment. And yeah. then when he mentioned something about the views, I was like, oh yeah, okay. That's Maybe cool. I should look around. Yeah. yeah. I was counting pawns on the way up, just like... <laughs> that boy's scouting. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh I need to throw my speed arm in. That drain goes. right there. Oh, goodbye, Mason. Yep, there he goes. Trey, I think, gosh, Trey's mental battle on the way up, if you filmed the whole thing all 30 minutes, <laughs> it's tough. Probably dude. wouldn't say a word. I think at one yeah. point, Trey, you have to do this, and I think you won't have a choice. I think so, at some point you have to do I'm this. I'm not against you. doing it one day, just not yet. <laughs> my cameras hello hello, hello. that hello, was amazing everybody. i love that hey, so mom much and dad. hey mom dad i'm alive tell that the was world awesome. what you think of it 
I might be addicted now. That was amazing. <laughs> Did that you was, have a favorite part? All of it. I love the ride up. It was like the nerves kind of just smoothed out, went away, and then as soon as we jumped out, that free fall was just definitely my you favorite You did great. Part. You were brave. Would you dare do it again? Oh, absolutely. Smile here with me. Yeah, no, he definitely liked it. He's yeah. the problem is he's gonna want to do it again. Like he's the one who's gonna want to go again. I got a good feeling. Out of all of us, he's definitely the one. Oh no, yeah. Norm, don't take me skydiving in your next video. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I am, dude. I'm done with that forever. Oh god. One and done type B. Oh yeah, the, that is the type B that is. Here he comes. What's the first words? Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, right he enjoyed it. I can tell just Oops, by the yeah, way he's talking. Don't worry, that's me. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Did you open your parachute? No, he did. I oh, wanted to. Oh. Let's go back again. I didn't want to prematurely <laughs> pull it and then I didn't get enough. Yeah, yeah, that's my decision. Let's go back again. Yeah. So, you give everything to your cameras? Smile. Yep, I, I, I just I, in time, bro. That story, it is pouring down rain over the mountain right there. there. Yeah, He's that boy's dumping. got a big old cheese on his face. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was like one of the best things I've ever done. I'm not gonna lie, I love that every part of it. The ride yeah. up was awesome. I was like looking over like, wow, this is sick. When we strapped up, I was like, I was like am I having shortness of breath or is this harness super tight? And I was like, and then he goes, zip, zip, tights it anymore. Like, nope. Heart is super tight. <laughs> Open the door, he sets his foot out. He's like, jump your feet out. I was like, okay. And then he just falls out. We do a couple flips. Dang. That was sick. Like, I loved every part of that. One out of 10 <laughs> experience, what do you think? 10 out of 10. 10 like, out of I 10. I genuinely loved every second of that. Awesome. And on the way down, like all the G-forces from him spinning and yeah. stuff. I mean, it hurts the, the nether region. Yeah. <laughs> I called but, it. <laughs> I called it. it. I said you were gonna say that. Like you can feel your face feeling the G-force and everything. Loved it. That was absolutely amazing i would so do that again like like i, could see I was this afraid being, you're gonna want to do it more and more and more i can see this being a thing like if i go to a different place like oh let me skydive there let yeah. me skydive there well i'm glad you enjoyed it i'm glad you think it's a 10 out of 10 experience Thank you, Jack Pack. I and that. uh we have one more day on this island actually no we have about 16 more hours on this island so i have one more thing planned for us so let's go back to the room get showered changed rest it up bright and early tomorrow morning one more surprise let's do it let's do it hey go well boys we are uh five minutes late but the last thing we're doing today as you guys saw when we were coming in here it kind of ruined the surprise for y'all but <laughs> we are riding can-ams side by side riding on a tour of this beautiful puerto rican place so I'm breaking mine yeah we're late so we gotta go let's go all right there you go it's been a little minute since we've been in a can-am. We're gonna roll it? Uh, yeah. Hey, probably not. I hope not. <laughs> None deep, gonna go hit something probably not steep. Yeah. Seven deep, ready to hit something steep, baby. I'm, I'm taking Norm on his first ever can-am ride. I feel like that's a, uh, that's like gotta be a flex or something, right? Yeah, he never would ride with me in mine. I don't blame him. Yeah, <laughs> I got a little reckless in mine. Yeah, I don't blame him. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Let's roll out. We got it. Two hours in this back room? I think so, dude. We're gonna be exploring. Exploring Puerto Rico. Don't rear end them. Oh, <laughs> that takes all the fun out of it, Norm. <laughs> so there's no harnesses in here, and that kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie. I can barely see out this thing. Dude, we gotta go faster than this. <laughs>
pasión por ahí Todos y todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer, ni tu amigo Pero en vivo, solo contigo Disfruto el show, bebé Dirt in my throat, dirt in my nose. <laughs> Do you look like you're 45 years old with the amount of dirt on your face right now? Dude, oh, look at the line. Look at the line. Yeah. Oh Holy my god. Smokes, dude. You look like one of them uh, girls who try to get a zoom tan. Perfect. All right, boys. We've landed back in Atlanta now, and what a crazy past 14 days this has been. I hope you guys enjoyed the Puerto Rico trip. I tried to make it as fun as possible. It's a good time. What do you guys uh what do you guys think? I think I feel like Mason did the most extreme thing for sure. It. Yeah. That was yeah. my top, that was... top three experiences of my life. <laughs> That's I awesome. I love that so much. So what of uh what about you? Did you enjoy it? Other oh, than yeah. the fifth, oh, yeah. I, I, I it's tough, like like I said, it's tough because we could have went out on a charter, but anybody can go anywhere and get a charter. Nobody can really do it how we did it. Though I lost a big tarpon, uh, and Colby actually ended up did. He caught a snook. Just fishing is fishing, and it gets tough. So, did you enjoy it? I did. I wish I would have caught a tarpon. Hooked one, had another bite. Yeah. Fished about 15 more, but I just never caught one. So. Yeah. Everything about that place except the hotel we stayed in was very cool. It was very inconvenient. But anyways, thanks for watching. Let us know where we should go next down in the comments. Love you guys. Catch you on next venture. Peace.